Hello, my Tubies and my Teletubbies. She the true love, and I'm definitely always loving you, as you know. And I don't want to be offensive to any of my Tubies. At the same time, I was looking at these videos, you know, what we can learn from Narcissus Part 1 and Part 2. And, um, and then I looked at some of his other videos, and I'm freaked out. It's like how he'll support any other race of women but his own. That disgusts me because when you think about it, let's just focus on this for a brief moment. Black women, you know, the ones that you black men hate so freaking much, you created us. I'm the semen from your penis. I didn't come out of no Japanese, no Caucasian or whatever. It was black semen that created these black women and your very creation is what you hate. Really? I can't imagine why any woman on the planet would have any respect for a dude like you. You hate your own creation. You do everything in your power to tear them down. You know, you want to sit here and say that you're a king? Let me tell you about a king, sweetheart. Anytime a king sees that something is attacking his kingdom, whether it's the media, marketing, advertisement, magazines, yeah, they're trying to tear down your black women. And what do you do? You get on the bandwagon and help them. No, that's not king material. No, no, no. A king for his nation, his own nation, he's going to step up. Oh, hello. Yo, yo, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's a king. Something has got to be done. How dare you sit here and think that I'm going to stand by here foolishly and stupidly and watch how you could tear down my queen? You're going to tear down my queen so I can uplift yours, you know, the white man's creation or the Spanish man's creation or the Indian man's creation. Those men created their own culture, their own people. And you, the only culture that you see Tearing down everything they created is the black man. And another thing that troubles me, why is it that, I, you know, you look at these videos and these black men on their videos, they have everything that has pale skin and light skin. They never have women their own skin tone. And do you want me to really sit here and believe or you want to try to convince me that's not self-hatred? Of course it's self-hatred. It's called weak-minded. You bought into this white supremacy. No offense to my vanilla sisters. Come on, you already know what's up. You know I'm not coming out, how you say, from the side of my neck in Chicago. That's what they do. People come out, no, you know what's up. Ain't no way in the world your Caucasian men sit up there. You see Caucasian men with women their own skin tone. Spanish men with women their own skin tone. Japanese Chinese, Indian, everybody with their own skin tone except for a brown skin or a dark skin black man. My question to that, I, we got to sit here and like, let's, and I'm a Capricorn, I analyze a lot. Let's think about that. Why can't you stand somebody your own skin tone? We look at the movies, we look at the advertisement, we look at marketing, what they have out here. We look at the freaking magazines. They always have a dark-skinned black man with something lighter than him. That's self-hatred. And, and, and like I said, if you you, know, you want to entertain Sheila True Love, you want to keep me in your life, or at least say, yo, you know what? I want to date you, Sheila True Love. You got to damn right yo, be able to stimulate my mind. Please stimulate my mind and explain that to me because I don't understand that. You look at TV, you see pale skin with pale skin, light with light. But every time you see a dark-skinned man, every time, you always see them putting him with something light-skinned or pale skin or anything, anything other than his own skin tone. I need to try to understand that. Another thing I need to try to understand. <clears throat> Black women 
outnumber black men. So if we're going to do interracial, why don't we see more white men with black women? Because that's understandable. Because black women, if you want to have a family or if you want to have a partner, you have to go outside your race because we outnumber black men. But yet, when you look at the television, they always make sure that you see a lot of black men with white women, Caucasian women, Spanish women, anything as long as it's not their own race. And then, I'm troubled by that. How about this? Yeah, actually, actually, to be honest with you, yeah, I am troubled by that because I don't understand it. At the same time, I do understand it. You're trying to keep black people fighting among themselves. You're trying to destroy black families. That's not cool. And for the Caucasian women, I love you like crazy. I ain't got no problem with interracial dating. I don't. When I see a black woman with a Caucasian man, I'm feeling that. When I see a Caucasian woman with a black man, no, that's disrespectful. And I got to keep it real with you. Yeah, it is disrespectful. You have more than enough of your own culture, of your own man. You know Caucasian women know what's up. Black women outnumber black men. So we have no choice. The thing with Caucasian women, you do have a choice. You have an abundance of men to choose from. Why would you want to sit here and disrespect black women by sitting up here enticing and seducing? Because you know that's what it's about. With a black man, all you got to do is have a smile and a big ass. Everybody knows that, that that's done. That's not even a war. That's, you know, like I said, I like Steve. Steve was a Marine. That didn't even take no war Marine material. All you got to do with a black man, have a big ass and a smile. That's it. That's all. So when I see Caucasian women sitting up here laying up with black men or dealing with black men, am I offended? Yeah, I am. Actually, I got to keep it real with my, my vanilla sisters. I think that's one of the things that you like about me most. Sheila keeps it real, for real, straight up, because it's disrespectful. You see that we have some fighting going among our race. Our race needs to unite. You need to, you know, you know, step up, step back, because there's times when I've been dating, and there was times when I needed to, um, I needed to step back for a minute. Yo, let's you, you people get this stuff together, and then we can talk. But when I see Caucasian women sitting up there with these black men, no, 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 no. That's not cool. That's not acceptable. And um, if you're offended, you want to, how you say, unsubscribe to my channel, that's a beautiful thing. Because I don't want females or anybody like that on my team anyway. I have a certain circle. And I like to do, you know, elimination. Yeah, because you know, and I know, that's not fair. It's not fair. The only reason why these black men are behaving the way they are is based on the media. The media don't promote brown skin, dark skin, black skin, because let's let's keep it real. Come on now, my uh, come on, my tubies. If you were to look at the media, let's talk about the Super Bowl. Because the Super Bowl is when they usually have all of their best commercials. They pull out their most glamorous women. They just have enticing, enticing, enticing. You ever notice on the Super Bowl, they never pull out the most glamorous black women. They never pull out their most elegant black women. Oh, baby, I could show you some black women that are not every other freaking race out of the box. But they never show that. They always pull out an average looking black woman or she's never looking glamorous or something's freaking wrong with her, especially around the Super Bowl time because that's when most men are looking. If we were to, let's just think about this for a brief moment. If we were to have on the chat, the TV, most of the women that you see doing commercials are brown skin, dark skin, or black skin, you and I both know what's up. Everybody will want brown skin. Everybody will want dark skin or black skin. It's the media, it's the marketing, it's the advertisement. And for these black men to say, well, I have a preference, 
your preference is whatever the white man dictate to you because the white man dictates the media. They're in control of the media. And the only reason why their preference, it's not even a preference, honey, it's called brainwashing. It's called weak-minded. How dare you sit up there and want to be constituted or use the name as a king? We have some kings out here. Though. Let me not... not mm. I don't even want to discredit my kings because there are some kings out here. They ain't no way in the world you could get them to turn against their own race of women. That's crazy to them. A king? No, yo, yo, yo. I see my women in trouble. The freaking media is against her. The advertisement is against her. Marketing is against her. Yeah, really. That's a nation that's in trouble. I see my women are in trouble. Guess what the king is going to do? He's going to raise up. He's going to raise up. He's going to support his women. He's going to, you know what he's going to do? A king? He's going to become a gladiator. Freak kingship. Um, freak that nonsense. I'm a warrior. He's going to be an Aries. Pretty much an Aries. Like Hitler. Hitler was an Aries. Uh, Aries, they stand up for what they believe. They stand up for their own freaking culture and their own... Yeah, do the math. Go check out Hitler. He looked out for all his white people. Where's our black Aries? Because Aries are warriors. I don't care what nobody say. They're childish as fuck, but they're warriors. And they're going to sit up here and watch this crap going on with their ebony women. Everybody trying to tear us down. But you know what's up? You know, we, we, we are very strong women. Oh, yeah. You know that and I know that. At the same time, mm -mm. yo, yeah, you keep saying we don't, you act like you, you're a feminist. You don't need a man. You want to compete with a man. Ain't no black woman trying to compete with you. Only thing black women are trying to do, ebony women are doing, is being the best person that they, their best. And just because... I got two promotions or I got three or four raises and you didn't. And you're going to sit up here and tell me that I'm competing with you. I would never compete with you. But how can I compete with somebody who's on my same team? We're on the same team. But don't get upset with me because I decided to further my education and you chose not to. I chose to progress and go further and further. You chose to stay stagnated. And you mad at me because I didn't stagnate. And, and the way you sit up here and talk about feminists, I, I'm still waiting for that definition. Uh, uh, what is a feminist? You know, let me tell you what these men, these, these, I don't know, uneducated guys, a feminist to them is, you're not supposed to, uh, I'm going to use, let me, let me, let me say this first. Michelle Obama, she has gotten a chance to travel all over the world. And while she was traveling all over the world, you know what she found out? She found out that there were so many women that were not allowed to have an education. They were not allowed to be in schools. They were not allowed to be educated. And the first thing that hit my mind was, you know, back in slavery when they didn't want black people to have an education. Anytime you don't want a person to have an education, why is that? Let's question that. You don't want me with an education because that means that I'm going to, I'm going to be able to do better for myself. I'm not going to have to put up with you abusing me. And that's what this people who are anti-feminist, feminists, they don't want women with an education. They don't want, well, check this out. How unfair is this? I'm working the same exact job that you're working. Let's, let's just look at this scenario. I'm working the same exact job. Only check this. I, I come in, into work earlier and I leave later. You sit up there hanging at the water fountain or going from cubicle or desk, desk office. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they're going to sit up here and they're going to give you a raise when it comes to, you know, um, summary time. Um, they're going to give you a raise or they're going to pay you more because of your gender. I'm doing the exact same job as you. Why should I not be getting the exact same pay? Especially if I'm working harder. 
But let's forget about that working harder. Let's put this. This is what people who are against what they say they're against feminists because they feel that if we're working the same job, exactly putting in the same old sweat, they feel that the man should always get paid more regardless of no, nah, come on. No, nah, that's not being a feminist. Come on. You, that's ridiculous. What are they sitting up there saying? And I had to question these guys. I said, so what is your definition of feminist? You know what they said? They said that women who always want to challenge a man or compete. No, they say compete. Women who want to compete with the man. How about this? Ain't, uh, I don't know many women. Not in my circle. I don't know women who want to compete with you. I just want to be the best me that I can be. The only person I compete with is me. Like, let's say today I did 10 push-ups or I did 10 sit-ups. Tomorrow, I'm going to compete with myself. I'm going to challenge myself and I'm going to do 21. I did 20 today. Tomorrow, I'm going to do 21 or I'm going to do 22. You see how I push myself? I challenge myself. I'm not trying to challenge you, nor are black women trying to challenge you. We're sitting here trying to build you up and there's times you get out of jail, you ain't got nowhere to go. Your black family members are taking you in because I got my brother who was in jail for 21 years. You know what I did? I stayed connected to my brother for 21 years. And when he got out, guess who was right here with a home prepared? He, I was here. I wrote him letters. I sent him commissary 21 years. That's the black woman. How about that? Yeah. Don't you dare think for one iota of a moment that we're trying to compete with you. We're not. We're just going to college. We're getting our bachelor's. We're getting our PhD. We're getting our doctrines. That's all we're doing. Yo, we're we just progressing. How in the hell do you figure that's trying to compete with you? Just because I'm trying to better myself and be the best me that I can be. Why do you have to see that as trying to... Nah, that's not trying to compete with you, sweetheart. It really isn't. And when it comes to you talking about black women don't need a man, hell yeah, we need your... Oh, I'm ready to say something rude because I'm upset with you right now. I'm very upset with you. Yeah, I need you. I need you to take me to church on Sunday. I need you to have Bible studies with the family so our kids don't get crazy and be caught out there in the world with drugs and all this diseases and uh, crazy... Uh, I need you. We need you. But the areas that we need you, you don't want to give us what we need. I want Bible study every Saturday in this home. I want, you know, like we eat food. We eat physical food every day. Why can't we have spiritual food every day? What's up? We can't read one chapter out of the Bible and the daily text. You pick the daily text that we're going to choose to read from. How you figure I don't need you? Hell yeah, I need you. Uh, uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah. you need air food. Well, yeah, but to some extent. Yo, yeah, we want you. I want you. Yes, I do. Am I going to back down and become this doormat, lay down and let you walk up? That's so never going to happen. So if that's what you're waiting for, when it comes to ebony women, black women who are mentally healthy and who have a healthy self-esteem, sorry, babe, you're going to die waiting for that because it's never going to happen, okay? So you need to go on to those other races of women, like you said, and I listen to what you guys say. You think I don't, but yeah, I do. You said ebony women, they didn't have a man in the house. They weren't, you know, watching, you know, they were raised with mean old hateful mothers and bitter mothers and they didn't have a man in the house. In comparison, let's check out the comparison. You said the comparison is the other races of women, they always had their fathers in the home. They had a man around. That's why they know how to, you know, treat a man because they've seen their mother, whatever. Yeah, they've seen their mother take abuse. If you don't believe me, just type in, on, go and Google it, man. Look at the kind of crap 
these other women are putting up with that ebony women that's so never going to happen why we 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 want to do it we do we we can't because we already been through so much I, me per i can't do it kid moon and leo capricorn hello deuces can't do that like martin luther king he couldn't take no more of this injustice he had to speak out and, and that's just sheila true love can't do it as much as i'd like to can't do it but you let's get stay on track here you said here all these caucasian women hmm. they know how to, hold on Sorry guys, I hope you're here. Hope you're here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, because I was making some uh dinner and it was burning, but I'm back. Yeah, they these Caucasian women and these other races of women, Chinese and all the above if you will, they sat there and watched their mothers being beat up. They watched their mothers be, watch the man cheating like a dog. She put up with it. Let me tell you what I saw. My dad, he was great, whatever. My mom and my dad was married. Yeah, I'm not a bastard. No, I watched my mom and have a great relationship. My dad died. He was Trinidadian. I am Trinidadian. I'm a Trinidadian woman. Yeah. Think, well, let me tell you what I saw. My mom, after my dad passed away, she was dating. And these men was treating my mom badly. Let me tell you what my mom did. She... <laughs> she wasn't feeling none of that. <laughs> she, <laughs> she was a, <laughs> I gotta cover my mouth because this is way too funny. She's a cold cock suckers. <laughs> you treat her badly. She's not feeling. She was Aquarius. Aquarius, come on, let's think about Oprah Winfrey. Okay. Oprah Winfrey, who came from some rape, she got raped. She had some clowns sitting up there treating her badly. She rose above it. My mom rose above it. She used to clock suckers. Yo, yo, what's up? Beer bottles. <laughs> and she was, <laughs> that's what I saw. I saw women standing up. No, I'm not putting up with, are you crazy? So, I guess. Let me look down for a minute, and I got to giggle like this because, of course, you want me to be feeling like, uh, like, like really soft right now. You want me to feel weak. Okay, I'm gonna look down at my hands and my feet. I'm gonna think of everything I could think of, of being weak. I don't know how to be weak. How about that? I don't know how. Mm. But I'm gonna try like hell. Okay, let me look at my hands and look down and try to put up with this crap. It, 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 there's no way I could pull that off. I can't. She was true love. Got to go. My neck bones. And yes, I made neck bones and some string beans. And I'm going to eat the heck out of them. They are good. Oh, God. The house. Yeah, they're probably almost burnt. But oh, I had a great time with you. And hopefully you could take what I had to say into consideration. Until we got, we have got to understand each other. But as for you black men, yo, there ain't no reason, in, reason why in all hell you would sit up there and turn on your own race of women because Caucasian, the media is run by Jews. The, the Jews are dictating who you're going to love. That's wrong. If you're a king, ain't no way in the world you're going to turn on your own nation of women, especially when they're in crisis. Are you really a king? How about this? Are you even in the king league? Yeah, that's up to you. Love you. Talk to you later. Sheila Chula, bye for now.